Now we all know what makes a great semi-hollow body guitar. Stop tailpiece, two pneumatic bridge, low output humbuckers, three-way switch, and you're ready for rock, blues, and jazz, and off you go. But today, we're gonna be looking at something a little different. Here we go. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're all having an excellent day today. As you can see, we've got somewhat of an unusual semi-hollow body guitar in the studio. This is a guitar made by Vox. Now, of course, most people know Vox for their iconic amplifiers and not their guitars, but this design actually harkens back to the 60s. These guitars were originally made in Italy in the 1960s, and now they've been reissued for 2022. So this is the Vox Bobcat. Now I've never seen anything like this before. Now the guys from Vox reached out and said, Daryl, would you be interested in checking out this guitar? And I saw the three single coil pickups, the Bigsby, the interesting electronics, which we'll talk about in a second. And I was like, that's a little different. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Right, now before we hit up the tones, let's look at the quick specs. So we've got a maple body, we've got a spruce center block, and we've got a mahogany neck. Now on the back, we've got a nice set of open gear Grover tuning machines. Those are fantastic. Now, as for the fingerboard, it's listed as Indonesian ebony, but as you can see, hopefully, its coloration is more akin to rosewood than like a deep jet black ebony. Gotta say those inlays though are really beautiful, those abalone blocks. Uh, but yeah, it's more kind of like that black reddish than just that straight jet black. So be aware of that. But yeah, overall, really beautiful stuff. And that's kind of the quick specs. We're gonna hear the single coil pickups in a second. If you wanna know what single coils on a semi-hollow sound like, uh, stick around. And other than that, we've got the Bigsby, which is just the best. Now, as for the controls, something pretty interesting. We've got a three-way switch here, and we've got volume for the neck, volume for the bridge, master tone, and separate volume for the middle pickup. And when you mix that with a three-way switch, there's some interesting combinations. Right, let's plug this baby in and see what it sounds like. Here we go. All right, you guys, let's start with a few clean tones. I'm gonna start with just the neck pickup by itself. And here we go, let's just try a few clean arpeggios. Yeah, love having the bigs beyond that. That's just great. So um, yeah, let's try blending in a little bit of the middle pickup. So we have these two together. So I'm gonna play just the neck by itself here first. Right, and then I'm gonna add the middle pickup. So now we have these two. Take it out so it's just the neck. Back in. So really cool kind of, yeah, almost Strat-like tones out of there. And I like the fact that you can just blend it in. So you could just put a little bit in or all the way. Gives you some flexibility, but obviously the most uh, dynamic way is just to dial it all the way up so you have those two together. So some really cool tones out of these two pickups. All right, next up, let's put the selector in the middle position, which means we're just gonna be using the two outside pickups. Then I'm gonna use the volume for the middle pickup and we're gonna go three across. All three single coils on at the same time. We'll see what that sounds like. Here we go, but let's start with just the outsides first and let's keep our tone clean before we dial in some dirt, but here we go. <laughs> Oh, just a really nice and balanced um, bright tone especially if you dig in and then when you soften up all right now I've dialed in the middle pickup and let's do something similar all three across here we go Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, when you add all three, it definitely warms things up a little bit and does give a little bit of that kind of quacky out of phase tone. Um, so yeah, again, some great tones in the middle. Let's check out the bridge with a little dirt. All right, so now let's hear the Bobcat with a little bit of gain. Let's start with the bridge pickup. Now bear in mind, these are all true single coil pickups, which is why you get that real bright, you know, chime and attack out of this guitar. So bear that in mind, you will get some 60 cycle hum and all that goodness out of single coils as well. So here we go, let's hit up the bridge, everything wide open. <laughs> Let's dial back the tone a little bit, but stay in the bridge. Yeah, great tones there too. So if you want a little less bite, uh, the tone control, very dynamic. Let's try the same thing wide open uh, in the neck. And let's go ahead and take some of that tone out and maybe kind of do a little lead with the neck. So, I mean, you can still get a nice throaty tone out of there, um, out of the neck pickup. Let's just go wide open. Take that tone back out. Yeah, so really dynamic, pretty pumped about that uh, tone control. It's, uh, you know, if you want all the bright, like super cutting uh, of just a wide open single coil, you got it. If you want to warm things up, uh, this tone control will do that. So if you want something a little less kind of brash and bright and in your face, well, just use the tone control and it'll get you there. So here are my final thoughts on the Vox Bobcat. Now, the first thing I want to mention is the weight. And when you're talking about a Bigsby, well, things can kind of get out of control, but not here. It's just a hair over seven pounds, which is very, very good. And because of the Bigsby, there is no headstock dive, even though the headstock is, you know, fairly substantial um, because of that Bigsby, it just sits where you want it to. So nice balance and surprisingly light, which is very good. Now, in terms of the tones, and we'll talk about the construction in a second, but I wanna talk about the tones because if you're into like 50s and 60s and even 70s kind of music, you plug this into a Vox amp or like a vintage Fender, it will absolutely chime your face off. So if you're into that style of music, this absolutely will deliver. And if you wanna plug it into something different and use the tone control, as I mentioned, you can actually warm it up, get some nice kind of throaty tones out of here as well. But if you're into like the jangly, chimey, kind of 50s, 60s, early 70s, um, and even with a little gain there, uh, this guitar delivers. Now, in terms of the overall construction, fit and finish, that kind of stuff, well, this new one is made in South Korea. And South Korea has really forged a great kind of reputation for quality control and overall fit and finish. And this is true of this guitar. I've played so many out of South Korea over the last 10 years. Um, and this is, like I said, no exception. So overall, very well built. You know, the corners of the F holes, I always check on these styles of guitar. Everything looks like really nice and tight. Um, no gaps in the binding and all that kind of stuff. So really well made. Um, the only thing I noticed was on first fret, you can see how wide that block is. To make up the width, they had to kind of piece two pieces of abalone together to get the width. Now, once you hit third fret and beyond, they're all one piece, but I did notice because that block there is so big, they had to put two pieces together. And that's really the only thing I noticed on this entire guitar. Fret work is very good on the front faces and in terms of uh, the fret ends and how they were kind of, uh, contoured and stuff like that, I would say average to above average. So very nice on this guitar. And as I mentioned, all the binding and everything looks really good. So that's kind of like my final thoughts on this guitar. 
Uh, if you like the tones, there's nothing else like it out there. The only thing really was like maybe the Schecter Coupe. Um, that one was a very interesting kind of semi-hollow, hollow body guitar as well. Um, but this one really stands alone with those single coil pickups. So if you want something a little different than everybody else has and you like that style of music, well, this is a really great guitar. So this guitar brings something completely different to the table in a sea of 335 clones, which I think is pretty cool. So big thanks to Vox for sending it in, really appreciate it. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do so by clicking my face right here. All the rest of my uh, information will be down in the video description. Uh, the gear I use, links to this guitar, uh, tab store, t-shirt store, all that stuff is down there. You can feel free to check that out. Other than that, have a great day. Take care.